A new technique allows breast cancer patients to get a single dose of radiation to treat tumors rather than daily radiation sessions lasting between five and seven weeks. But the medical community is divided, bitterly divided over this. Here with more details is Health and Science Senior Editor Melinda Beck. Melinda, how are you? Hi, Paul. Uh, let, let's talk about the treatment first. Tell me what the, the details of this are. So it really sounds like a godsend for right. women who have to have radiation. They have one big dose during the surgery for lumpectomy, and they wake up with their radiation treatment behind them. Mm -hmm. um, and this has been tested um, in a randomized trial in Europe and elsewhere, over 3,000 women. and. It seems to be fairly comparable at controlling the recurrence of cancer to the much longer treatment. Right. But there have been a lot of debates and issues raised well, about this trial. For, for one, I mean, my first question, the question that comes to mind is, is why? Why is this? What is it about this one dose treatment that is equal to a five to seven week uh, treatment plan? What, what Part is of it is that they're putting it right inside the breast, not aiming it from a linear accelerator across the room, uh -huh. basically. So it's getting much closer to yeah. the area where cancer is most likely to come back. Mm -hmm. And radiation sort of damages cancer cells' ability to reproduce, and exactly where some stray cancers might cells might be is, is really not clear and it's yeah. different in every patient. And the, the fight over this isn't necessarily about whether it works or not, right? Right. Which is really, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> well, it's partly over how, how you interpret some very small numbers. Mm -hmm. um, this trial showed that only 3% of the women who had this trial had any kind of recurrence mm -hmm. over in five years, compared to 1.5% of women who had the regular kind. So some critics look at that and say, oh my God, they have twice the risk of recurrence. Right. And others say, well, look, those are tiny numbers. Yeah. And there are a lot of advantages that might outweigh that for women who have to make right. this choice. Now, is this treatment generally available for, for any woman who has breast cancer? Or is there do you have to have a certain profile to be eligible for this? So radiation in general is really for women who are candidates for lumpectomy. Mm -hmm. And that's women who are older, who have small, really non-aggressive tumors. Younger women, women who have lymph node involvement, are, are really counseled to have a mastectomy at this point. And because this is new, um, and because doctors can't tell the exact extent of the tumor during the surgery, mm -hmm. um, it's mainly aimed at women who have a really low risk to begin with. So uh, what about people, women, who have already gone through the treatment? Or do, do we have any kind of, do, you know, do, do we have any idea of what they think of it? Well, a lot of senators that offer this say they lay out the pros and cons, and they really have to let women decide. Yeah. Um, and that's really a trend in medicine in, in general. Don't mm -hmm. tell women what to think. Everybody weighs the pros and cons differently. And centers like the Cleveland Clinic are saying that a lot of women who hear about this option go for it, because getting six or seven weeks of right. radiation is a real drag. Yeah. Uh, all right, we will have to leave it there. Melinda, thank you very much. Great story. Thank you.